So. Um. Just one. I hate to say this because it sounds so cheesy, but Prince, man, Prince. He just was himself, regardless of what anybody thought that that self should look like. He was unapologetically and flamboyantly pushing boundaries and was one of the few artists at the time that was not only willing, but loved to put women on the stage with him. I'll just go with Idris Elba. When you're a black man who could be in the running or at least could be talked about to being James Bond and like really pissing people off because of that, that's, I can look up to you for that, for sure. Sailor Mars. I always wondered, like, why is Sailor Moon blonde and blue-eyed if she's Japanese? Then there was Sailor Mars, who, you know, worked at a temple and was, like, very close with her grandfather and had all these Asian cultural values that I really connected to. I'm super excited about Jordan Peele. I think he's been able to really tap into the zeitgeist and bring a bunch of people to the theater which seems to have been difficult in the past, you know, especially from the studio perspective. It's either a white movie or it's a black movie. But I think what Jordan Peele did was absolutely genius and sort of unifying. Margaret Cho is definitely a huge one. I was, I think, in third grade when American Girl was on TV. I was just so excited to see someone who was like me on TV and who had a family that was like mine. And Margaret Cho has a thing she says in her stand-up that in school she's in America and at home she's in Korea and I very much felt that way at home being in Taiwan or China like great now we don't speak English and now we eat this very specific food and you live in this different cultural bubble so it just gave me something to relate to that I didn't have in any other media.